Blasio Photography back with you for another video tutorial. I hope you guys had a great Christmas and a happy new year. Um, just real quickly, in the next couple minutes, I want to deal with something that everybody seems to run across at some point in their career, whether it's family stuff or whether it is um, wedding stuff. And what you're noticing probably right off the bat is eyeglasses. Okay, so transition lenses is something that a lot of people have. It's an easy, quick fix um, if you forget to have them uh, change out the lenses or take them out before the photography session. Um, what I'm going to do is just click my preset real quick to start myself off and you'll notice that fixes a lot of the color problems and flattens my picture out and lens corrections and all that stuff. Alrighty, so you can see it before and after. Uh, I'm just going to reset the exposure real quick because that's a little bit bright for what I need. Alrighty, so that's a pretty good starting point for most of what my images look like. What I'm going to do now is zoom in here and I'm going to go over to the adjustment brush which is up here in your um, right underneath histogram or you can hit the letter K and what you'll see is it brings up a little brush. Okay, so if you have a magic mouse or you're on a scroll mouse you can scroll up and down and it will make that mouse bigger or smaller. You can also hold the shift key while you scroll up and down and what that will do is increase the feathering or you can make all those adjustments over here. Now, I typically leave my brush at 100% um, I don't auto mask unless I'm going around somewhere that I really need like fine details like these little hairs because it tends to pixelate the edges. Um, so what I'm going to do if you need to zoom in a little further is you can hold shift or, or uh, command I'm sorry and hit plus and that will zoom in even further. And I'm going to take my what I have made is my tinted glasses removal um, which is a bumped exposure, bumped shadows um, and that's it. Uh, I did a, I don't know, I'm, I'm lying. That's not it. I did pull down for this one because um, a lot of exposure on the glasses tend to show like a purpley color. I pulled the red tint down towards the green and I moved the uh, temperature up towards the warmer side, 14. So what you're going to see as I brush this on is you're going to see it start to remove that color from the lenses. Now we're zoomed way in so it's going to be super pixelated. Um, but the reason I'm zoomed in is I want to get the edges really nice and clean all around the uh, glasses there. So the if you need a little bit more pad, remember hold that shift button and scroll up and you'll see that padding on the edging uh, feathering of the brush go up a little bit. Um, if you go over a little bit too far and you need to see where you go, hit the O button and that will show you. Or if you're as you're painting you're seeing a color, that will show you where you've painted and you can hold the Alt button and erase. It's very similar to Photoshop in a lot of the ways that you're used to using that if you're um, a Photoshop person. But I like to just go over that real quickly. I can see where I am. I'm going to hit that O button again um, and it's going to take that coloration away so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to hit the Z to zoom out so that you can see the difference. Hit enter and that will enter your um, brush. So you can see the difference just very quickly by adding that uh, filter. Um, or that adjustment brush on the glasses, we have been able to take that away. Now, I think that looks a little bit too realistic. It's way too bright compared to the rest of the face. So I'm going to hit that K button again, and I'm going to go back here and I'm going to adjust that brush just slightly. Now, you can make your own brushes by painting on. Um, when you click in, it'll say, oh, I want to make a, a custom, a, a custom. Um, then once you're done, You'll click in here and say save current settings as a new preset and you'll change you'll title it and then next time when you go back in to do it it'll be right in here in your presets so i have some other ones a little bit bright so i'm going to click back on that now you can either click on it and drag to the left or right and that will adjust the all of the adjustments up and down a little bit uh, command z that or you can go over here specifically and adjust the ones you want so i want all of the adjustments to stay the same except for my exposure, which I'm going to bring down more to like the 7585. Now, when we zoom out, we'll take a look at how that looks compared to the left to the right. Uh, and I feel like you're going to see that looks a little bit more like maybe her glasses should be um, this color. Now, I'm, I went ahead and made a finalized uh, edit of that. I'll bump that exposure up just a little bit. Just so you guys can the end, I hope you can see quite a significant difference uh, between the glasses and the removal of those glasses um, tinting by just using your adjustment brush. Now your adjustment brush is super useful for lots of other things, 
Um, if you have any questions about what those are or what you can use it for, we've got a side-by-side -side here so you can see the difference. Uh, just using that adjustment brush, it's able to save quite a bit of uh, what otherwise would have been a purple colored glasses photo. So hope that helps you out, you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me, chad at deblasiophoto.com, um, or shoot me a message on Facebook, and uh, look forward to seeing some of your photos in the Photography Awesome Sauce blog um, or in the Facebook group coming up.